Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Cinematics channel. Today, we're building the high grade universal entry, the EZ8. So, building this because, uh, you know, I am a UZ fan, sort of a UZ fan. And, you know, I like a lot of universal entry stuff, so that's why I build a lot of high grade universal entry. And, you know, side, we got some description, then uh, the other side, we got some actions and some the parachute the parachute as well when we open there we got a one two three four four packages plus a instructional manual so quickly flick through that uh, we got the a little bit of uh, action introducing and you know a uh, the parachute uh, introduction and we got some you know some instruction guide and at the back we got the actions and we got the stories and you know some details as well as and you know i'm just gonna start opening the runners i opened up all the runners and we got first we got a c1 and a c2 runner uh there's some rivals some parachute part uh, some backpacks some shield uh waist part hand parts and uh you know it, uh the joints for the uh hands uh, for the hands and for the uh legs as well then we got an A1 runner, uh, the outside shield, uh, the outside armor. And we got a, uh, I believe it's the machine gun, the head, uh, the shoulders, we got some waist part and some uh, knees armor as well. Then we got a B2 runner parachute. B1 runner for the uh, feet, torso, and I believe is the uh, shield as well, a part of the shield. D part, the D runner, uh, we got a uh, uh, some machine gun parts and not sure is it the parachute or the backpack, I'm not really sure. Uh, the A2 runner, uh, same as the A1 runner, we got some outside armor for the uh, shoulders, for the knees as well. Then we got a huge polycap, a huge runner of the polycap, so we got a really short uh, beam saver effect part. We got some marking, we got the marking stickers here. Uh, yep. And we got some normal stickers for, uh, you know, sensors for uh, for the head as well. Then we got a really long uh, kind of soft uh, parachute rope here for you to put on the parachute backpack later for the kids. And I'll sh demonstrate to you how to put it on later. Well, anyway, I will see you at the review.
Hello and welcome back to the review of the Gundam EZ-8 and uh, this is the finishing of the whole Gundam so uh, it actually it actually wasn't too bad for me for, because I thought it's going to have a lot of recoloring but uh, at the end I find out uh, the recoloring part is just the uh, the inner parts the inner parts that uh, I will show you later some inner details that need to be recoloring and some thrusters that need to be recoloring but uh, not a big deal but you know just just uh, just for some information and the overall looking is pretty good uh, compared to the old version of course it's a little bit is a uh, I think it's slightly uh, the scale got it right at, uh, not like the old version and but uh, it kind of have us I have some part that feel like it's kind of missed out because um it didn't give us the long cannon that the you know the ground tag on them they're holding because EZ to have one of the weapons and it didn't give us the backpack as well uh, the you know the multi weapon backpack uh, you have to rip it off from the uh, gun ground type uh, which is a part that I kind of feel missed out I wish wish they would give us in the kit as well but apparently they only give you the parachute backpack uh, speaking of the parachute backpack. Uh, we do have a gun ground type uh, premium banner release. I think is at the October. Is it at October that we have a uh, gun ground type uh, parachute pack uh, premium banner release coming? And it got a lot of weapons. Uh, I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get that as well. I think. Well, but anyway, that's no point. So uh, we will start the EZ8 uh, review straight away and really good job for Bandai because this time they don't really have too much armor detail on the uh, mobile shirt itself so they give us a, uh, some marking stickers just to um, just to kind of reveal it uh, they give us the 08 logo at the shield the 81 logo the 81 logo on the uh, chest as well and they did give us some shoulder marking as well really good job on that and you know uh, I'm not gonna talk too much and I'm gonna start uh, with the movements then I will talk about accessories so as usual I'm gonna start with the hand so uh, moving up move, uh, moving up and down very poor moving up and down and go because the head have a uh, really large uh, chin piece that I would like to call that and uh, you know moving 360 is possible as well uh, the overfilling of the head give me a really weird feeling it's like um, it's like a Gundam that wearing a mask you know at the chin part here uh, it's the Gundam wearing a mask. Uh, it's like you know those uh, like preventing you get poison mask type thing. Uh, I don't know how to describe that, but anyway, the the head design looks a bit weird for me. Uh, I'm not sure why it gives me that feeling, but uh, I guess that's how it's so. And you know, uh, I give you three stickers: uh, one sticker on the chin, one sticker on the uh, camera, and one sticker at the back of the head as well. But uh, and also another sticker on the uh, for the camera as well as usual I can deal with that right now we are removing and talk about the torso the torso uh, is uh, two markings the 81 markings and the top here have a and the top here uh, you can see the MS number here uh, you know it's really good it's really good uh, the slightly you know marking detail here uh, the whole thing the whole model couldn't uh, not really moving too much of all the uh, front and back and move to the side not even 30 degrees so really poor movement on the uh, between the waist and the torso and there's some details on the torso as well that I really like uh, like this uh you know the gun the machine gun part here and you know if you rip off the torso just give me a second if you rip off the torso and you can some see more inner details in the torso a really good job on doing the uh i mean really good job on taking care of the inner frame of the mobile suit as well they did give it a a lot of details on it uh, because you can you know you can recover this part uh, for me i'm just gonna put this chest piece uh, this chest piece on and uh not gonna even recovering it so the hand uh the hand 360 no problem at all as moves slightly to the front and uh you know twist around as well uh bent up on a pretty good angle uh bent all the way up to the shoulder really good movements and um the hand uh, could be moving around as well, you know, really good detail. And also, uh, as usual, they did give us a uh, some kind of hand option for the for the right hand. Yes, for the right hand of the mobile suit, they did give you a trigger hand that you can put on uh, some put on the machine gun or the beam rifle. And for the left hand, you have a fist hand for the left hand, and you can put it on for other poses as well. 
Yeah, and also forget to mention, uh, it can move up to the pretty high angle for uh, lifting up. So really good movement on the hand so, at the moment. So next, let's talk about the waist. So the waist, uh, as usual, the skirt armor can be flipped up like this. Uh, you can see the inner joint there as well. Uh, the side of the side of the uh, the waist, the side skirt armor. I'm sorry. I uh, can lift up about uh, 30 degrees. And unfortunately, this is not blue destiny. So this part is molded together, so you don't have like a like a extra coloring. But I'm fine with that. But next, uh, the legs can be bent up to a pretty good angle. Uh, is uh, 130 probably 130 and the uh, and the short and the uh, armor down here could be movable as well and the back armor here uh, slightly movable and really easy to rip off so please be careful when you're playing around with it and the legs I mean the the feet here the feet here can go uh, go uh, side by side and go up and down slightly so overall is a really good uh, it's pretty good movement for the feet and I really like it and you know uh, going to the side uh, about 90 degrees uh, kicking to the front uh, kicking to the front 90 degrees as well as you can see the part just fall off again so you need really need to be so I recommend that if you're not gonna master if you don't think you're gonna use this part just glue it I think just glue it it'll be fine just glue it and you know the uh, the legs could be uh, could be uh, twisting for 360 as well. So overall, the feet movement is uh, really good, and you know you can move, make a lot of poses with it. I assume. All right, so now I'm gonna quickly run through the accessory. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, so first, we'll get a leftover marking sheet. You can put it any way that you like. And then we got stickers that uh, I will show you later. Is for the backpack. Uh, you need to put some stickers on for the backpack. And uh, we have a beam rival and a machine gun and as I said two option uh, hand poses and you know not really much accessory and also forgot to mention about that the beam saber uh, effect part I haven't cut it off yet but uh, you might asking where is the beam sabers uh, I will show you right now so um, the beam saber is just like the blue destiny that I introduced before you know you know all you have to do is just rip off the part at the legs and there you go a small beam saber handle is in it. You can pull it out, but you know, uh, you can put it back like this as well. So you know, the beam saber is at the legs, so you might need to use a little bit of strength to pull it out and get the beam sabers out. All right, now I'm gonna show you the most annoying part of the whole gunplay, and it's actually the most fun part: uh, the parachute backpack. So first, you need to pull down the backpack. Uh, you just basically just oh, by the way, the backpack is really easy to fell off. The the parts is really easy to fell off. So. Uh, be careful when you're messing around with it and you know just give me a second we have this parachute backpack um, so there's a there's a kind of like a rope here it's not a rope it's just a plastic and you know all you have to do is just you lay the flat down you lay the mobile suit flat down I'm not just gonna remove the shield temporarily because it will work better and now all you have to do you just have to you just have to wrap around on the shoulders. As the shoulder the shoulder have a part here that all you have to do is just wrap around it. So after you put it on, it should look like this. So as you can see, the connector here is just using a piece of stickers to hold it together, which is not effective at all, and it looks kind of weird as well for me. It, it, I think it will look better with the uh, original uh, weapon backpack, but this one parachute backpack just look a bit weird. Just in my opinion, it look a bit weird. And basically, the parachute backpack is really simple. It's just a piece of large, two pieces of large dark green pieces that snapping together. And you know, it, it's really annoying to put it on as well. So I probably not recommend it to put it on. It looks kind of bad as well. So probably you can probably my recommend my advice is probably just better on staying off the parachute pack. And yep, that's basically all the things. And uh, thanks for watching. Uh, hope you guys like this my like this video. Uh, drop a like on my videos and subscribe to my channel as well. Uh, follow my Instagram for more uh, information. And you know, I will definitely see you next time. Goodbye.